A week at Spooky World is no vacation. I'd rather be dead. Who wouldn't? <laughs> I'm for that. Not the tour to Transylvania. I'm on the beach. A week in the sun would really deoxidize my heating elements. It sounds kind of expensive. It does sound expensive. And don't blame me if you all come back with hideous tan. Yeah, you can't stop humming, don't worry, be happy. He's got a point. That song is almost as bad as It's a Small World After All. Small World After All. Oh, no. What? Anyway, I guess it wouldn't hurt to look into it. Yeah, we might as well look into it. What do we got to lose? Well, we could lose plenty. You don't want to mess around with people's fantasies. <laughs> no one wants to picture a beautiful beach with extension cords all over the place. <laughs> people need their escape. Well, I'm ready to go over the wall. <laughs> In a profession, we call this transporting to our happy place. When we deal with this 25-7, it's really very important. Shut up, Chuck. That weak shut up, Chuck, was one of the first signs that there wasn't much enthusiasm over this project. Shut up, Chuck! But it's my happy place! <laughs> I guess that's a little bit. There's just no excuse for this. With all the skincare products that are available these days, that's just bad hygiene. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me, darling. Whatever happened to those baby pictures of yours? <laughs> well, with your budget, this is going to be a little tricky. Maybe a timeshare in Key West? I heard the beaches weren't that great. True. Yeah, and I've heard about a lot of sex happening all over the place. That's true, too. I could live without a beach. Am I right? <laughs> Okay, bad idea. Well, what about Hawaii? Ha what? <laughs> yes, yes, I see. Well, why not just pretend that you're staying in Hawaii while actually staying in Mexico? Mexico? I can't hula in Mexico. And besides, wasn't that where we all got so sick? Yeah, that was awful. Hepatitis A, I think. You mean diarrhea A. <laughs> Oh, I still can't look at Jimmy Chong in the face. Well then, maybe a cruise would be the ticket for you. All you have to do is just work on the lone board every day. Work? <laughs> well, I could sing and dance in the shows every night. Now you're talking. Sing and dance, wash dishes, maybe a little painting. And this cruise will be right in your price range. I don't wash. And the only painting I do is on great works of art. But you know, I'm sure Ma wouldn't mind manning a waffle station every once in a while. I suppose some work wouldn't be too bad. I can ask for a week off tomorrow when I go into work. Well, you're probably going to have to work a little longer than a week. What? How much longer? Six months, actually. Six months? You've got to be kidding. What? I could do my Michael Jackson routine. <laughs> with the moonwalk. <laughs> Don't go. I can give you every Tuesday afternoon call. Even the DMV's more fun than that. And I was going to do them a favor. It'll go by like that. You'll see. Come on, Michael. <laughs> sex in Key West. <laughs> well, I guess we're back to the drawing board then. But didn't he have any ideas? Oh yeah, but we couldn't decide. It was one of one, six dozen of the other. <laughs> hey, Reddy, if we go away, are you gonna make a coconut phone? <laughs> no. A coconut TV? You know they have coconuts in Key West. <laughs> no, no. I'm afraid you're gonna have to get coconuts out of your head. I can do that. Yeah. 
Put the lime in the coconut. I'm gonna coconut cream pie for dinner tonight. Okay, we're gonna run through this. So um, I just want everyone. To One of the biggest problems we had was in finding the right locations. And how are we ever gonna do a restaurant scene? First of all, I'm gonna show a, a, a clip of the outside of the restaurant. Now, I was counting on using Finities down the street, but turns out it's out of business, so I can't get any nighttime shots. So I picked a different place. Uh, it's kind of expensive, but I figured, you know, what the heck, we're worth it. <laughs> so let's start, let's, uh, let's go with this. Go ahead, toaster oven. Well, this is a treat. I haven't been out to eat since Darlene's birthday, and I miss half of that because they wouldn't seat us near an electrical outlet. Oh, here we go again. What did you expect us to do? They said your cord was frayed and it would have been against fire regulations. Well, I don't unplug myself. You know the drill. Pull with the plug, not with the cord. Pull with the plug. I feel a power surge coming on. Who did that? Don't worry, Ma. We've got two backup extensions and a power strip this time. Nothing but the best. So, Ma, how was the church play? Oh, it was really funny. Right in the middle of Alice Willard's big dance number, she fell down and showed everyone her underwear. That sounds embarrassing. Yeah, but funny. I just have one word. Boxers! <laughs> so what's the occasion tonight? Oh, I know. We're celebrating that we finally used up that one-ply toilet paper that we finally used up that one-ply toilet paper that Chuck bought. I was so tired of all that folding and folding. I said I was sorry about that. We have a surprise for you, Ma. We thought we'd have our vacation all figured out by now, but we still haven't decided anything yet. So, what's the surprise? You're gonna meet my girlfriend tonight. You mean there really is a girlfriend? <laughs> what? You know you don't need a girlfriend when you have so much going for you. Oh, you're so smart and good looking and you always have such good ideas. What about me? That's right, Chuck has good ideas too. Oh right, if it was up to him, we'd be dancing around buck naked and he'd be screaming about how he's a man trapped in another man's body. Hi, my name is Steven and I'll be your waiter this evening. We have one special, filet mignon with grilled asparagus. And you could supersize it for $1.99. <laughs> if we're up to me, I'd supersize everything. I'll be right back. Hey, Rennie. I think the waiter's trying to tell you something. The portions here must be really small. Nothing gets by you, Chuck. So, when is this mystery woman coming? Soon. They're cold. Well, send them over. No, Ma, not this time. This is your special night out. Oh, don't be ridiculous. What else do I have to do? Besides, it's a treat for me just to be running off 200 amp service. She should be here pretty soon. That's exciting. I suppose this looks a little, uh, different. Yeah, uh, different, but... Uh... <laughs> There is a logical explanation. Well, I, uh, f figured, uh... Yeah, yeah, their mother is a toaster oven, okay? <laughs> toaster oven Steven. Steven toaster oven. Now, I would like to start with... We know it takes a little getting used to. Oh, no, really? Y your mother is a... I know plenty of... differently crippled? <laughs> no, no, we don't use words like that anymore. Oh, yeah, I, I mean Native American. <laughs> And she's got a nice rack. Hey, that's our mother you're talking about. Uh, sorry, um, maybe you'd like more time to look at the menu. Yes, I think you would. <laughs> yes, you would. Sorry, Ma. Oh, I don't care. Besides, when he's right, he's right. Oh, good, she's here. 